Welcome to Facebook Live. It's 1FM 91.3. We're Carol and Lavinia joined in the studio by Chef Jeremy Nui from the Dempsey Project. He's Ooh. looking very good today. Welcome back, Jeremy. Hopping over on air for a nice discussion on cooking for love. Join us yes. there. Harden my heart here on 1FM 91.3. No, 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 no. Do not harden your heart. Not a good not idea. Not right now. <laughs> and it's going to be hard to because we're talking about how food can really ignite some romantic times. Exactly. Ooh. We are joined by Chef Jeremy Nui on Foodie Friday. Welcome back, Chef Jeremy. Hi, hey. good morning. Jeremy. <laughs> Fresh off your trip from Jeju. You're looking very dapper, I must say. I love yeah, what you're wearing you. today. Yeah. Oh, was it very cold in Jeju? No, it's very cool in Singapore. I see. Uh, any <laughs> opportunity for sweater exactly. weather, right? Yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so we're talking about cooking for love today. How to cook for that special love interest, romantic interest. What are mm. your tips and tricks? So, you know, like I, I, I have this idea that I wanted to write a little cookbook, but I, I didn't know what the theme was. But mm. I think that the Venus... Fly trap. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, you know, we Say, put like what? a little bait, like a peanut butter in the middle of a glued plate. <laughs> Oh. And then let the little cute little mouse <laughs> run. Oh. Right, right. Okay. Like, so I have this like idea in mind, and uh, and the reason why this is like so, I think I'm so kind of like uh, enamored by this topic is because like, I think that's how I found um, the love of my life, my wife through cooking. Yeah. So oh, I, thought, I thought Venus flytrap. <laughs> no, like she's or peanut like, butter. Not <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. You know the. The Koreans, right? They, mm. We watch a lot of Korean drama serial. Yes. Yeah. You know, they, every time they want to like uh, get someone to come over, like a good excuse is to say that I will cook for you, right? So mm. they will ask like, oh, would you like to have some ramyeon? Ramyeon. Every okay. time when they, that question pops up in a show, I'm like, yes, <laughs> I, I would. <laughs> yeah. So I think, you know, in, in Singapore, it's like, it kind of, like we'll go for supper and then like after the prata, it's like, what do you do? Or do you want to invite somebody over to cook? So I think like inviting somebody over is for dinner or like supper, like mm-hmm. after clubbing or drinks is like such a like a really nice and casual way of like asking somebody they wanna take it to the next level. Ooh <laughs> get to know them a bit more kind of yeah. thing, right? But you know like at one AM in the morning it's like a little bit difficult to make sure that you have like something like prepared in advance. Mm. So chances are it's like a lot of us have just literally like instant noodles and like canned food in okay so i think like one of the the good ways to make sure that uh, your instant noodles looks really good is probably to have some very interesting ways of like making like different garnishes mm-hmm. like for example if you put luncheon meat into it mm. uh maybe like cut it a little bit differently rather than like the semicircle rounds ah. yeah make it like little cubes or like cut into thinner strips yeah. and then you can air fry them so they're a little bit crispier. Ah. All yeah, about presentation. Then, exactly. And then mm. It also shows effort, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah good point. You want to think like, you know, you want her to think that you're, you're kind of special, right? Oh. Yeah. Mm, so I another like way I, I, I think like if most of us when we're just cooking in like instant noodles, we will just like drop an egg into it. Yeah. Yeah. But another thing I, ha- I want to like teach you guys is probably like, uh, you can like make a little thin crepe omelette. <gasps> Slice so, it. No, no, no. Yeah, you can slice it really thin. So the, the trick is to actually add a little water mm-hmm. to the egg so that you thin it down and then you can fry the egg in like a couple of batches. Uh-huh. Even just a single egg, you can like fry it like a couple of times in two batches. Meaning okay. So that the omelette is like super thin and then when it cools down, you can like shred it and then mm-hmm. you can pile up your instant noodles so it looks wow. really fancy. And it oh. sounds quite easy to do, yes, right? Yes, yes. Fast and easy to do. And yeah, yeah, it you, looks really great. Yeah. Ah. I mean, you, you don't want a meal to take like half an hour to prepare, you know? You want it to be fast and then you guys can color in front of like Netflix and chill. I know. <laughs> I like this little hack because it's easy to do and you, as you said, you know, sometimes when you're tired, you don't really have a lot of food at home but you always will have cup noodles mm. and eggs, right? And so this is a nice way to elevate that dish real quickly. Uh, talking about you know inviting that special love interest home on my second date my husband actually uh my now husband my then boyfriend actually invited me over to his place for dinner and uh i was like you know he realized i was gonna be tired after work we were meant to go out on a date he says look come over i'll cook for you so on the second date he made like a grilled salmon uh however i think he was a little bit nervous and was overcooked and also the salmon was very bony (laughs) so i i feel like you know what are your what are your thoughts on that? You know, cooking for love. I appreciate the effort, but at the same time, you know, if you don't do it properly, don't do it. Is it? You see, romantic, there were bones. I had to pick bones <laughs> Carol, out Carol. of my mouth. This guy obviously did something right. 
because you are married to him now. <laughs> Hey, it true. wasn't the salmon. It, was, <laughs> it wasn't the salmon, but you know, you could feel his like honesty and earnestness. Yes. Yeah. I, okay. I think that's like really more important. Mm. Yeah. But another thing that maybe like you could do if you wanted to have someone come over, but you're not entirely confident is to really just be honest and say, hey, I want to try this recipe out. I want to cook it for you. But I'm I'm not sh- I'm not confident hundred percent, and I never made it before. Would you like to do it together? Ah, ah, and it kind of like gives you that sort of like leeway that you could make mistakes. Maybe it don't turn out right because it's like, would we can we try it together? Right? Yeah, ah. and you get your hands dirty together, and even if it turns out horribly wrong, it will be such a wonderful memory. True, <laughs> that, that is true. Yeah, if it's good, you high five. If it's bad, you laugh about it together, yeah. and it's something you end up talking about, you know, for months or years to come. Even I ah. love that. That's a great tip. All right, join us online on. Facebook. Facebook.com slash 1FM91.3 and on YouTube as well. We're going to continue the discussion with Jeremy today. And what's your type? We were also talking about your favorite childhood snacks. We'll find out what his favorites are. And we've got a cool prize for you as well on Facebook. That's right. This wonderful gift pack thanks to United Automobiles Services. It's got Castro oil, engine oil, also Premier League merchandise. It's worth $230. Back with more in a bit. One- Don't you hey. think Jeremy looks absolutely dapper and You know, you really charming. look like one of those like handsome opas from mm. the K dramas. And you just came back from Jeju Island, isn't it? Yeah, Were I Were you inspired by their outfits? No la, this is uh, because you know, my wife suddenly I don't know why, like in eighteen years she said that oh actually your sabo looks quite mature. Sabo? Sabo, 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 oh, sabo, sabo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whenever is a sabo mature? I know, I was like, huh? What? <laughs> so I decided okay. to like keep it up a bit. I like some stubble on my husband. I mean, he's got like a full-on mustache really? and like goatee. I like it. But when it no, comes nice in for a kiss, rough. it's like, oh, I just feel like my face got raked away. <laughs> this is very true. For my husband, exfoliation, my husband. Natural exfoliation. Girl, but also it, the dog loves it, you know. There's a bit of like food that collects in the beard <laughs> and the dog loves it. We need to stop that right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to childhood <laughs> snacks, perhaps. What were some of your faves? So, actually... While we were just discussing it like with my wife and we were thinking like wow like some of the things that we really missed and do you guys remember Burger King had this little <gasps> mini burger called the Burger Buddy? Burger oh Buddies, my god! Yes! Oh my gosh, the Burger Buddy. <laughs> like if you think about it now, it's like do you eat it yourself or do you share it with somebody? No, no, there was no like sharing involved. I just love the idea of pulling it apart. Really? I would and always want to share it. Fact, like what? Each one grabs one this one's called share Burger it. Buddy. Oh, no, I would yeah. just like, eat, I had joy in pulling it apart and then eating them like two for the price of one kind of thing. And Jeremy, good thing we didn't know her back then. We would think she's so mean. I loved my burgers. <laughs> share, I really yeah, share. did. I still do. No, there was no one around anyway. It's called Burger me. Buddies. I, on, my, on my route home, there was no one to All right, fine. <laughs> moved, yeah, okay. <laughs> Keep your burger. Okay, Burger Buddies. I, I, I hope they bring that back. Actually. Yeah, it's so nice. cute. Yeah. Can you do them actually? Do you know how to make them? I just think I'm thing. thinking back now. I almost can't remember. Like how they even make the bun in the like a little figure of eight shape right? yeah yeah. stick yeah, them together is there such a thing as food glue that's edible and no 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 I'm just were <laughs> the patties joined together or were they two separate two separate patties? ones two separate ones it was, it was just, just the bread the buns that were joined yeah. correct mm. yeah just man, the I really la. miss those yeah I think it was just the idea of like you know lit towers and then you're like that little like sub basement but you know place. what that's a great idea for cooking for love you know you make two of everything and you find a way to kind of like bring these two things together oh. for mm. your dish or for that special someone yeah something that you can like purposely cook in a way such that, that you have to share it right yes ah, yeah. oh but we have things like that like yu tiao and oh, butterfly it, good point that's yeah. true it's two stuck together I'm thinking of that scene from Lady and the Tramp the spaghetti <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but share the noodle. Then and then if it's someone kiss. you don't want to kiss, right, you bite the noodle. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and then you move your head back. Maybe next time. Can you imagine the cup noodle? Oh, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'll just eat my share. Thanks. <laughs> what else did you enjoy as a kid? I think like the little. I love the little wafer discs. I think they're like quite colorful. Yes, it is this size, yeah. different colors: green, pink, yellow. Yeah, but that one mm, was big, quite. Right? Tasteless, but in the same shop, they would sell the little pinwheel. The yeah, the horse slices. The horse yeah. slices. The horse slices? Hot. No, 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 no. It's wheels. It's like wheels. White color. Yeah, yeah, it white color. Like that's wheel. right. Oh, like right. a wheel yeah. with spokes. Yes, but they were tasteless. Oh, but it was so addictive. I don't know why. True. Like there was a weird crunchy texture, waxy texture, but no <laughs> real flavor to it. I but get it. Yes. People can feast on them and they still sell them. They I still like sell this. them. I rather yeah. the kaka. Kaka. Oh, kaka. kaka Chickadees. Could never get enough of those kakas. Yes, yeah. because got free toy. 
You can get enough, just how much pocket money you have. No. So sadly, I can only afford one box at a time. One box of kaka? Yeah. Oh, it's a packet, one, isn't one, it? No, one packet or no, like the, packet the ting tong was just one box. The do you remember mm. Do you remember Ovaltine biscuits? I like Ovaltine sweets. Ovaltine biscuits. Yeah, they are Ovaltine biscuits. Is Very it? nice, oh. yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay. Horlick sweets. Oh yeah. my goodness! Yes, Jeremy, yes! What a blast from the past, yes. Wow, we... I've not seen those in a long, long time though. Yeah, I'm just very curious. Like, do mm. like any of our younger listeners actually know what we're talking about? Yes, of course. We really? Are, yeah, we've got p- people. Let's Bryant, let's check with our social media team. Bryant, Holic Sweet. Is this a thing for you? No. No, okay. <laughs> Kaka, yeah. is this a thing for you? No. You have missed out, my friend. Missed out. Your childhood not as tasty. So so what are like young people? What are they are like childhood snacks? Young people come here, young person. <laughs> <laughs> What's your childhood snack? Can't see you lah. Mine's the, the, the M&M one. M&M? M&M's? Chocolate. M&M chocolate. How's that childhood sweet? Oh, M&M has been around for like ages. No, it's their childhood sweet lah. Oh, M&M. Probably it's the fancy blue ones with almonds inside. Huh? Yeah, I almost feel like the younger generation to get all fancy. They'll be like, Mahahons, you know, dark chocolate, only uh, 89%. Huh? Oh. You know, that's how young people are, okay. aren't they? Mm. Okay. But I, I tell you, I take great joy in mm. introducing to my boys the childhood snacks or the foods that I had when I was a child. Oh. So even if it was, you know, not the best quality, like those pola, you know, the crackers I, eat, I ate when, it, when I was a child, to introduce it to my kids, you know, it just gives me I a little bit of a Google thrill. I Google this pola crackers. You've been talking about it all When you morning, see it, you will know. Yeah. Okay. Pola crackers. Pola crackers. Yeah. Or even it. like, um, it's... The packaging is clear on the top, so you can see the crackers oh, inside. Oh, right, right. It's it looks super like pot salty. Pie? Oh, you've tried them? Eh, hey, Brian is cool again. Eh, hey, I missed out on something, lah. I have not oh. tried these before. You know oh, guys, cuttlefish, about? cuttlefish. You know the cuttlefish with the strips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you not have the that? The fish ones. The, it's yeah, like they're red cuttlefish. And a blue yeah. color. Yeah, the cuttlefish strips, and then you kind of had to tear yes. them into the little, like the omelette, like how you would cook your omelette into oh. strips. Do oh they still gosh. sell the Hero chocolate cake? Dude, that was one of my favorites. They, I, I haven't seen it. Hero around. chocolate. I've cake. only seen like a Meiji like version yeah, yeah, yeah. of it. But I like because it was that kind of dry cake. <laughs> People are like, "What's wrong with you?" But I'm like, I actually like that texture. Dry, you know, the cake has gone dry. The sponges is dry. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, was a treat for me. So. And I noticed that the Hero chocolate cake got smaller and oh smaller. Oh my gosh, Hero as in H I R O. No, no, maybe it just got yeah. bigger, you know. Well, okay, <laughs> actually, like, yeah. <laughs> when you were a kid, right, everything seems so like So large, big, right? So, yeah. Like the mummy, the mummy noodles look big. And then now I feel like. Oh, it, I think it's so it shrunk. It did. Did yeah. it or did it not? It I don't know. Shrink. Did it I did get shrink. bigger and it looked smaller? I don't know. Yeah, but the mummy, uh, the guy who ran mummy was a very hardworking man. You know, go into the office every single day into his 80s. Apparently, very good working environment there as well over in Malaysia where the factory was mm. yeah so I miss mommy I really do alright we're jumping back live on air in just a little while continuing part 2 of cooking for love okay so tips and tricks from our chef Jeremy Nui where we can find him at uh, the Dempsey Project also yeah my mom and I have an outfit called Mrs. Quay mm. uh, we have like our favourites box now it's like Mother's Day coming up oh like, yes I really hope you guys check it out ah. yeah so Quico fun sweet. to eat. Quico sweet ah! is very sweet. It is very good. Yeah. We had that the previous time. The Quico sweet. We is sweet. should share this on air. We will. We should. All right, jumping over. Right now is from Linear. It's sending all my love. We want you to do it through food. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so early on on Facebook Live, we were talking to uh, Chef Jeremy about uh, you know where we can find him, and you're talking about this really great outfit you do with your mom, mm. all about Quico. Yes. Share with us. It's called Mrs. Quay, and the reason why it's called Mrs. Quay is because we want to pay homage to all the women who really sacrifice their personal ambition for families. So I think right now it's like Ramadan season, and I think you can see the other ones like preparing the iftar mm. and like the community get to dinner dinners. So every family has a Mrs. Quay, and now Mother's Day is coming up. So I think it's uh, it's really nice. Like I would love for maybe many of our listeners and younger generation people to friends to like maybe try we have a favorite platter that's like a little mix of everything like Ooh. on day on day quick or sweet and yeah. it's like just really nice to uh, like try these versions of like Kuei that my mom was inspired to make. Mm, I'm a big fan of the Mrs. Kuei Kuei's. The Kuei Kuei is really very sweet. It's, <laughs> it's very good. Yeah, you've tried some, yes, right? Yes, the previous time when he was here, he brought yeah. some for us. Oh, it's we're being objective, really okay? Really top Not quality on there, on there. It really melts in your yes. mouth. You know, it's just the right portion of sweet and, you know, bouncy. And it feels like eating a memory. 
Oh. Yeah. So that and the presentation is absolutely beautiful in the it box is, as well. It is. Very practical. Order ahead of time. I think three days advance booking on Mrs. Quay. Yeah, but the reason why I have to jump in now is because uh, like Mrs. Mother's Day is coming up. Yeah. Like, why? What are we doing for? For Mother's Day, that bring yeah. a, a box of gift. Mrs. Quay. And it, it needs that pre-order time because you want to make it fresh. Mm. That's right, yeah. yeah. Quay all day, all right? Hey! <laughs> all right, part That's two of Cooking for Love with uh, Chef Jeremy Nui, of course, who tries to champion uh, local cooking and Singapore food on the world stage. So uh, what else do we need to take note of when cooking for that special someone? So one of my, I, I think the most favourite, uh, like, ways to show that you love this person is really to like cook and prepare for the person but kind of cooking at home um after a while it can be a little bit tired you know my wife say why you every time on so special occasion want to eat at home like cheap skit or that <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you know you go out for the experience right and like eating in a restaurant can be also uh, a little bit like routine mm. Mm. Uh, one of the most favourite like formats I've discovered during the pandemic when you couldn't eat in restaurants and hawker centres was actually taking out and like doing a little picnic mm. so uh, when growing up you know you would think like a picnic is something you have to prepare the sandwiches and like maybe like make some like fried chicken mm. or like mm. bihun and curry but it can also be like quite quite tedious like mm. if you really don't have time so I think one of the most fun things is like maybe you could just go to like a hawker center like I, I like East Coast Park yep. Lagoon, mm -hmm. and like do a, a tapao of the satay oh. and like grilled chicken wings and like, just take it to cake. the beach oh. yeah Hokkien yeah. Mee oh. oh my gosh I'm getting so hungry now oh. yeah. that's something I've done funny you brought that up because during COVID as well that's what we did my husband and I would go to East Coast Food Lagoon we would have a little picnic outside oh. uh, and eat the food uh, that was really cooked for us it was piping hot you know it was a nice view by the sea very little prep and you can do it very quickly and on the spur of a moment as well very spontaneous about it I think sometimes we're very obsessed with like getting things Instagram worthy mm. gotta have the mat gotta have the you know cutlery right the food right and all that uh. but yeah sometimes I think in the midst of planning for all that you miss out on those little moments that you can be spontaneous so you're saying you can keep it no frills and still have a wonderful memory yeah and I, I think Singapore we always think like it's a bit warm but I, I feel like even coming back from like like Jeju and like Tonight I'm going to France Woo. And when you look at the weather report You realise that Actually Singapore is the perfect weather mm. Like it's always like 28, 29, 30 Like especially in the evening It's always mm. breezy It's never too windy Or too cold mm -mm. I mean it's hard mm -mm. to have a picnic in snow uh, Even though it looks nice for Instagram Yeah <laughs> True, true that. I like that you brought up the idea of a picnic. Uh, growing up, we also used to do picnics by Labrador. Back in the day, you mm. could actually have picnics by the beach at Labrador. Really? Now they've cordoned it off. But my ah. mom, she would make the nasi lama. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then pow it up in a brown paper. Oh, we would go, the oh, kids would effort. go swimming. Yeah. Yes, I, I'm now starting to realise and appreciate all this because it was a lot of effort to make the nasi lama for the yes. whole family. Not just my family, but for my cousins as well. Oh my God, that must have been so fun. It was. And now that I'm thinking, you bringing this up, I'm like those were some of the best days of my life of my childhood oh yeah well thank you for bringing that up not just for love but also for our memories mm. Mm. all right so chef Jeremy thanks once again for joining us on foodie Friday mm, my pleasure find you. Wait, wait, wait so one more oh. thing like for everyone who's listening in say other than like Labrador Park and like Fort Canning and usual suspects I would like to also maybe you can share with me like some of the places where like I should try picnicking oh <gasps> I like this. He's taking it's for his you, a wife and you, seriously. huh? Yeah, ah, man. Yeah. She likes this, right? These picnics. Yeah, it's fun. It's like a little, like very, like say, uh, could be a spontaneous date, but it could be something you plan, right? To like a really special place. Say, hey, I'm going to take you somewhere ah. secret. Ah. Yeah, it's like somewhere that only like you don't know yet. I've never yeah. seen before. Somewhere secret. Then you open the balcony door. Come. Balcony. <laughs> I don't know why I slap you. <laughs> Jeremy Nui, man of mystery. <laughs> but thanks to uh, yeah, 1FM uh, Bright Side listeners. Yeah. Thanks Aww. for your tips in advance. <laughs> okay. So where can people find you on socials? Uh, my Instagram is Jem Nui. So J-E-M-N-G-U-E-E. -E. Mm -hmm. yeah. And over at Dempsey Project. And, and Mrs. Mrs. Quay. And I have uh, another Rumpa and Samba brand called Batu Lisung Spice Company. So oh, if, good if stuff, you want to like... One. If you want to cook for your mom and your family, yeah, that's like a great way to like start. I love what you always said about the sambals and the spices. You don't bring a jar or two over for your friends overseas. Yes. They'll be so grateful. No, like but his the is really great because mm. it packs flat. Yes. Right? Mm. And the wakluat sambal, please everyone. <laughs> don't Do yourself a favour and yes. try it. It's Do really it good. Now. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Chef Jeremy. We will speak to you again real soon. Oh, come on. Thanks, everyone on Facebook.
to check out some of his uh, wonderful creations over at Dempsey Project, uh, Batu's Le Song Spice Company. You can pick up some really great stuff, and as Jeremy has pointed out before, you know the the packs that he sells for Batu Lasong. Mm. You can use it for marinades for your barbecues. Yeah. So injecting a little bit of local Asian flavor into a barbecue, a it barbie really does take the stress out of your food prep. A for sure. When you've got an occasion, for yeah. sure. So using all these hacks mm. to your advantage, even if you're cooking that romantic meal for someone you've already married or hope to marry. <laughs> I want to say hello to uh, yes. Wei Chen, who says, you know, because we asked, what's the best dish to cook for your loved one? He ah. says, my best. Best dish is fried rice, and Ivy says my best dish is the Chinese style tomato soup with eggs. Oh I love my that. goodness! I love that. Jeremy is nodding, nodding your head. Come, tell us, Jeremy. Oh, okay. Suddenly, like you say, like tomato soup with egg. Then I realized it's like very soft, fluffy, fluffy. Yes, yeah, it's super comfort yes. food. You see yeah. the kind of thing your grandma, your ama makes. My grandma made it for me. Oh, yeah, see? and she topped it up, pimped it up by adding meatballs inside. You see, know, like, food yeah. is so special. Uh. It's not just food; it's a memory. Yes. It's a moment. Yes. Wow, such a feeling morning. Yeah, all the <laughs> tears are welling in my eyes. <laughs> all right, thanks again, Jeremy. Have fun and stay safe in uh, Paris. Thank you, thank you. Good time. Greatest hit.